I'm going to be talking about the new JNS Foy RICS 2021 Home Survey Reports and how to complete one of the forms. So on screen you should see that we've got a Home Survey tab and I'm going to get a level 2 survey and valuation on screen. First thing you have to do is complete your survey details. So I'm just going to type those in quickly. And the RICS surveyor's number is picked up from something you put at the start. You can override this for one document, but it will always go back to that same number. So if I put a six in now, that will be carried through this document, but in future, it'll go back to that old one. The next thing you might want to do is put a cover photo in. And you have a choice. You can see here's a single landscape, a single landscape reflected, two landscape photos, or a single portrait photo. I'm going to go for a single landscape. I'm going to pick the one that I want and insert it and it pops up behind the purple box so I can all if I want to I can alter the way this looks so make it a little bit smaller but it will always stay behind that box um, the next thing you might want to do is go to a different section and if you hover over the table of contents, depending on what your version of Word is set to do, you can click on, let's say, uh, overall opinion, and it will take you there. You can see here, in section C, uh, in main services, there are boxes for you to complete. Either you can put an X in them or you can type TK and hit F3 and it will give you a tick. Uh, be warned, if you're using a laptop, you may have to press an FN key to get the function keys to work. So TK and F3 and there's another tick. All right, I'm now going to fill in D1 chimney stacks. I have cheated and I've saved some auto text to standard Paris so that you don't have to watch me typing very very slowly and there's my standard paragraph. Then I'm going to put in another standard paragraph. There we go. And a third standard paragraph. Okay once I've done that I might want to put my condition rating in. I'm going to make this one condition rating 3 and I have something that is beginning to look like a report. I can also in here insert a photo. So I go to a point where I want the photo to be, click on insert photo. Now this box will pop up the first time that you do this and you can choose your standard width. So I'm going to choose 10 centimeters. Um, yeah, I'd like it left and I would like it without borders. So I'm going to say update and I am going to pick my chimney photo and it should insert. Again, if I don't like it, I can alter the size, but using our insert photo We'll make sure that all your photos are of a consistent size through the document unless you want to make them larger or smaller for some reason. So you can also do normal word things like add a caption or wrap the text differently. Yeah, so uh, those are normal word functions, but right. Okay, well, I'm going to just take that photo out and go back and say, right, in section D2, 
I think I'm going to have condition rating 2 and condition rating 1 and a not inspected. Once you've been right the way through the report and you've filled in all of these condition ratings, you can then click on update report and it will complete section B for you like this. And there we are in section B, um, D1 chimney stacks, and it, it's completed all of those for you. You should be able to see that. All right, I'm now going to go back to here. The last thing you should be doing before you issue your report is going through and checking for bad page breaks and we have a bad page break here where d5 windows falls on one uh, the heading falls on one and the box falls on the next page in the case of this happening go immediately before d5 for example and then add a page break and it will just shift it onto the next page beware if you get it wrong, if you want to do, uh, if you add a page break further up the report that begins to screw things up for you, what you can do is turn show hide on, see where that page break is, and once you've got it, then you can delete it. Last but not least, file compression. The more photographs that you put into your report, obviously the larger file size you're going to have. Different versions of Word will compress your photos, but they'll do it in different ways and in different amounts. So either you can ask Word to compress your whole document, or you can compress it at the stage that you PDF it. Uh, again, Word as PDF can have different file sizes depending on which version of Word it is. Basically, the later the version, the better it does it. Uh, you can also use third-party software such as PDF Redirect, and that will allow you to pick between different file sizes. So you can either have a small file size and not terribly good quality pictures, or a large file size with much better quality pictures. Well, I think I've covered pretty much everything. Uh, so thank you for listening. I'm going to stop there.